is water pH? Is knowing pH really important? Is getting a pH meter really important in the hobby? And uh, so many questions even I had uh, when I came to know or when I got into the hobby and things uh, which get, you need to know these kind of things when you're in the hobby to keep the hobby going. So finally I invested and got a pH meter and I have some answers so stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Rahul and welcome back to Praparakwa. <laughs> so as the title says, I'm sure you guys know what we are going to talk about today is about the pH meter which is very very uh, essential. I have not bought it in a very long time and when we get a little more advanced into the hobby and things like that when you need to be sure about uh, if your water is good and if there is an issue with your fish, is it because of your water? pH and TDS are very very important and uh, I'm going to be making a couple of more videos on different kind of test kits. Previously I made a video on uh, chlorine test kit which is something I'm going to be uh, leaving in the uh, video link in the cards. You can have a look. These are few essential things which is very very important in the hobby. So we can be sure that that this is not the reason you know maybe it is a lower pH or a higher pH and uh, so things like that, there are so many reasons a fish can fall sick and if you're continuously having issues in your aquarium, it can be a lot of reasons. I'm not saying pH is the only one, but there can be so many reasons. So, what is pH? pH is basically the potential of hydrogen in the water. So, uh, the, there is a range between 0 to 40, 7 being 7.0 being the neutral. So, that is basically like an ideal situation. So, aquarium freshwaters, I think you can go from uh, 6.5 to 8.2, some places that they've written is 8.5. Uh, so, a range between 6.5 to 7.5 inside 8, I think is really good uh, if we can achieve that. Uh, with, uh, you know, that's that should be like the ideal situation uh, where uh, it is really good for your uh, freshwater fishes. So that is one of the reasons I thought, you know, when you do a certain amount of treatments and all, it's very important to know your uh, pH levels and all that. So that's one of the reasons I thought I should pick this up. It's not very expensive, it's only about 400, 500 rupees, Indian rupees. And I think it's very important to have in the hobby. And that's the reason I thought I should make a video. So this video mainly is going to be the calibration. There is a small calibration process for this. It's not just a simple way of doing it. So that is something I've shown in the video. So hope you guys like it and see you on the other side. Hey, sorry. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, please do consider subscribing and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon. Uh, otherwise, you'll not get notified whenever we make videos. We regularly make videos on discus keeping, planted tanks, marine tanks, flower horn, and a lot of tips and tricks about how to keep the hobby going. So, let's get into the video. Okay. So, to calibrate the pH meter, first thing we need obviously is a pH meter. Uh, I got this beaker basically to measure a certain uh, to get the right level of uh, water so I got this pH meter on Amazon uh, the MRP of it on the sticker says 700 but it's much lesser so I leave the link of it in the uh, videos description uh, so you guys can click and also leave the link of the beakers if you guys want to pick it up so let's open it up and uh, check what and all comes with it there's a manual and these are basically two uh, pH buffers that come with it uh, for us to calibrate the uh, pH meter this is the pH meter this is where the electrode is this is where the reading comes in and this is the on off switch and this is where the screw is there inside for us to calibrate it. Uh, it's already got uh, the battery inside it. It's very easily openable. It comes with uh, four uh, small batteries. This is the on off button. And they have also given a screwdriver for us to 
calibrate you need to turn it across uh, to get the right reading so let's start the process and also you will need uh, distilled water basically distilled water is what you uh, you might get it in you'll get it in your uh, uh, shops where they recharge batteries so distilled water is also required uh, we need to put distilled water into this so as per the instructions we need to dissolve any one of these uh, in some ph meters they say you need to calibrate with both the both the ph uh, buffers uh, but in this the manual actually it says uh, you can actually do it with only one any one of these so i'm going to try it with one of these and also you will need uh, something to check the temperature of the uh, distilled water that's also something which you require So we have got uh, 250 ml of uh, distilled water. So I am going with the 4 pH 4 buffer. Now we need to mix it well and then after that we need to check the temperature of the water. So I am using a TDS meter to check the temperature. Uh, generally this TDS meter comes with uh, temperature also. So Yeah, you can see this temperature also. So, we'll check the water temperature. So the water temperature is at 24 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's 24 degrees. So based on that, we need to calculate how much we need to calibrate. So if the temperature is about 24 to 25 degrees, uh, the pH um, for the pH 4 liquid, it should uh, we should calibrate it to the level of 4 4.00. So let's insert the pH meter and uh, see how the uh, reading is coming. Currently it's showing different readings. Okay, it's perfect. Uh, the reading what it is showing is as of now you need to leave it uh, inside the uh, liquid for some time so as of now it is uh, showing 3.9 let's leave it for some time and then uh, once the thing is stabilized then we need to calibrate so what they have told is that we need to wait for at least a minute for the uh, pH meter to get the right uh, reading so uh, it started at 4 it has come to 3.6 so another 30 seconds and then we will see what needs to be done so it's been about a minute uh, since we have uh, dipped it in the distilled water with the uh, buffer solution so as per the reading we were supposed to get uh, you know uh, 4 for 25 degrees so now it is at uh, 3.5 so now we need to use the screwdriver to bring it to 4 let's do that
we need to turn the in clockwise direction so now we have got it to 3.8 yes now we've got the reading at 4 can you guys see it's at 4 so at 25 degrees this is the reading we need to I mean uh, 25 degrees this is the reading we need to achieve as you can see the reading is uh, at 4 so when you pull it out of the liquid uh, the reading will change you can see it is changing to whatever so again dip it back just to reconfirm that it is calibrated so basically this is the uh, simple procedure so all you need is uh, distal water pH meter and uh, also a TDS meter to check the temperature and that's about it so now it is fully calibrated so you can switch it off and then test your water so calibration is ready and I think once in uh, some time you need to uh, recalibrate uh, pH meters so yeah so I think that's why they are given two buffers so this is a very important thing if you are in the aquarium hobby so pick it up it's there uh, available online I leave the link of this in the video's description okay signing off so I have taken some uh, aged water that I use in my fish tanks now let's this is a calibrated pH meter you would have seen the previous shots so let's check our pH so this is the thing with pH meter it will keep actually going up and uh, we'll have to wait for some time for the reading to get constant Hey, there's an ant. <laughs>